Suppose a needle is dropped onto a floor of parallel wooden planks. We would like to know the probability that the needle lies across a line where two of the planks meet. There are several valid approaches to this problem. We will use a geometric argument that provides graphical intuition as well as eliminates the need of more complex calculus. To do this, we will determine the sample space area of possible needle drops. Then, we will determine the portion of that sample space where the needle touches a line. The probability of a needle touching a line is then just a quotient of these two areas. Before we proceed with this, we will make a few observations. Say the needle has length L and the parallel lines are distance X apart. If we drop the needle several times, what we begin to observe is that there are two factors that determine whether the needle touches a vertical line. The distance from the needle to the closest line and the angle at which the needle lands. Specifically, we will use the horizontal distance from the needle's center to the closest line. We will call this distance D and the acute angle the needle makes with a horizontal through its center. We will call this angle theta. Now consider the following example. If we make a right triangle using the needle and the horizontal, labeling the sides A, B, and C, it becomes apparent that the needle intersects the vertical line if and only if the distance from the needle to the line is less than or equal to the horizontal side of the triangle. Using the fact that cosine theta is equal to the length of the adjacent side divided by the length of the hypotenuse, we know a is equal to cosine theta times c, implying a is equal to cosine theta times l over 2, since c is half the length of the needle. Therefore, we require that the distance from the needle to the line is less than or equal to cosine theta times half the length of the needle. Proceeding with our geometric argument, we first define the entire sample space of possible needle drops as follows. We know that each time the needle is dropped, the distance from the needle to the closest line is a random value between 0 and x over 2, since we are always considering the closer vertical line and theta is a random value between 0 and 90 degrees, or pi over 2 radians. So we can graphically understand this sample space as a rectangle in the first quadrant with the angle values as the horizontal axis and the distance values as the vertical axis. Each coordinate within this rectangle is a possible needle drop. For instance, the coordinate pi over 4, x over 4 would be this needle. Finally, using what we derived earlier, we know that any coordinate that satisfies the inequality is a needle drop that intersects a vertical line. In other words, the portion of the sample space where the needle touches a line is the intersection of the region satisfying the inequality with the sample space rectangle. Moreover, by how we have defined the axes, this intersection region is simply the area underneath the curve cosine theta times L over 2. To get this area, we take the integral of cosine theta times L over 2 from 0 to pi over 2. Dividing this area by the total sample space area gives us the probability of the needle touching a vertical line, and we are done.